My name is Yannick Lamm. I'm a mechanical engineer with the German Sofia Institute that is part of the University of Stuttgart. My name is Jan Jörner. I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Stuttgart in Germany. Right now I'm doing an internship at the Sofia project here in California. We use SOLIDWORKS in the Sofia project to design parts and to simulate uh, assemblies. Sofia is a flying infrared observatory. You can fly at a very high altitude and take infrared pictures from very distant star clouds and galaxies. Basically it's a 2.5 meter diameter telescope mounted in the aft fuselage of a modified 747SP. We are using the SOLIDWORKS research edition to modify parts, design new parts. We are using the simulation toolbox to simulate uh, assemblies and also to do stress analysis. One example would be the latest upgrade of the vibration isolation system. It's a pneumatic system that isolates the telescope from the aircraft vibrations. So we had a lot of 3D tubing to design, so we used the 3D sketching in SOLIDWORKS and uh, it was a quite challenging task, but with programs like SOLIDWORKS it's, it's easy to design those kind of assemblies. One of our major design issues is the big temperature difference. On the one hand we have the heat of California when SOFIA is grounded. On the other hand we have a very cold state when we are up in the air, about 14 kilometers. So temperatures are dropping very fast and we have to calculate the contraction of the parts and they have to work properly at both temperature levels. And it was pretty easy to do it with SOLIDWORKS because you can design your parts and then you can immediately just simulate them so you don't have to use different software and convert files, you can just do it all in one software. We were able to validate our designs with SOLIDWORKS with simulating the parts and doing the thermal simulations and motion simulations. The university chose SOLIDWORKS uh, based on the fact that most of our industrial partners are using SOLIDWORKS and also for our students it's an easy to use and powerful tool. The University of Stuttgart has about 18 people working here in Palmdale and more working in, at the Ames Research Center and in Stuttgart. So we have students at all three places and all of them are using SOLIDWORKS uh, to solve their prob problems and to do their part of the overall success of the project. There have been a lot of breakthroughs already. There have been major achievements in the research of star formations. Undiscovered molecules have been found and more of the gas dynamics of the galactic center has been researched. Yeah, working on this project is just amazing. We have so many design challenges to solve and so many every, every day we have new problems to solve, new experiences. For me it's like a dream job.